Welcome back everyone to another episode of Vegetarian Cooking with JJ. In this week's episode, we're going to be returning to what my favorite go-to breakfast was when we were staying in Sedona. Of course, you can put your own spin on it. It is both simple, but interesting and delicious. So let's head over to our video content. Welcome to our kitchen here in Sedona. I'm going to show you today what I'm going to be making for breakfast. This time around, I did not buy oil or vegan butter. It was partly because I did not want the oil or vegan butter to go to waste. And also, I already had a lot of groceries to deal with. I wanted to make sure that we used up before we left. So I'm going to show you what I'm going to do rather than using oil. A lot of people will depend on oil or some sort of fat in the kitchen for cooking, but this time we don't have that. So I'm going to show you what I'm going to make. Let's head over to the kitchen. So here we have our chopped red onion, our yellow pepper, red bell pepper, cauliflower, and shiitake mushroom. And we have our chow bran, tomato cayenne, vegan cheese, and some guacamole and our just egg. What we're gonna do first of all is get our pan nice and hot. I'm gonna put it to high heat since this element doesn't seem to be heating up quite fast. Yesterday we missed the sunrise because of it. So I have these shiitake mushrooms, they're the fresh kind. Oops, I lost one one cube there. Damn it. I have the fresh shiitake mushrooms and I learned a little trick. If you put them in the pan dry, it gives it a nice nutty flavor, a richer mushroom flavor. So for all you mushroom fans out there, there's a little tip for you. Where did you put? Oh, there. Never mind. We're just going to heat these mushrooms up to start off with so we get that nice flavor out. And we have all our other ingredients ready to go here. And now that our mushrooms have got a little bit brown, I'm going to add in the other veggies here. Okay, so now that our veggies have been cooking for a little bit, we're going to go ahead and we're going to add some, we're going to add a bit of salt, some pepper here. I'm going to add this garlic and herbs spice blend that just doesn't have garlic and herbs. It has some sesame seeds, it has some dried lemon peel. It's a very delicious spice blend by Simply Organic. So, I'm going to go ahead and open the bigger side because it doesn't come out fast enough. Or just take the cap off altogether. But be careful, don't do this at home. Risky business here. <laughs> Put that a little stir first. And I'm going to go ahead and pour in our just egg. I broke our chow vegan cheese into smaller pieces so that it can melt into it later on. We're almost done here. And I'm going to go ahead and toast some bread. There we go, that's ready. So now we have our toast ready. I'm just gonna spread some guacamole on. And actually before I do that, I'm going to add our vegan cheese into our dish here in the pan. So it gets nice and melty. Put that lid back on. And we'll put our guac on our toast. Mm. 
Now that our vegan cheese has mixed in nicely, it's melted in, I'm going to just put on some salsa for the finishing touch. Turn our heat off here. I'm going to break it up so this is not a very sharp knife, even though we asked for a sharp knife, it's still not too sharp. I'm going to break this up and top it onto our toes. Go. This one ended up bigger. <laughs> it's all good. It's all good. We'll figure it out. Some stray pieces here. And there you have it, our delicious breakfast that we're going to enjoy with some fresh coffee. So I'll take the first bite. There you have it, an easy, delicious vegan breakfast. I'm sure you'll return to it time and time again. <laughs>